What is up, everybody? It is Vortac, and welcome to the ninth episode in our third colony of RimWorld. I want to thank you guys for watching today. And uh, we have some issues here right off the bat. In the last episode, I left off where we just started mining out this whole area, and I'm noticing all kinds of weird little problems. Uh, first things first, an, an, uh, an alert popped up saying Vortec developed an infection in his torso. Uh, we need a medical bed for him so he can rest until he's fully healed. I'm going to set this bed down here as I meant to before as a medical bed that will get him uh, you know resting until he's healed hopefully he's gonna be okay because he is our best miner and then I also noticed mining stopped when they hit a wall here they can't really get rid of this wall I don't think without deconstructing so very strange and we also can't deconstruct so also very annoying this is gonna drive my OCD crazy because we're supposed to be living in those. There's just all these walls here. Like, there's these ruins buried or something. And I'm just kind of surprised I can't do anything about that. I can't deconstruct them. I can't mine them. Uh, I don't know. If you guys know how to get rid of these, if I don't figure it out in this episode, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, maybe maybe it's just not possible. Maybe i got to leave this area wide open now. I don't know. I can definitely make it work for all our OCD sake. It's just going to kind of suck. So, there you go. Uh, anyway, our mining uh, out of the hospital wing is coming along. And hopefully we can get Vortec healed up. We have a trade ship passing by. But I'm kind of ignoring those right now. Because there's not much I can do. And I think this fertilizer pump, at least by the end of this episode, should be completely ready uh, to be dismantled. So we can make room for our generator. In fact, let me just double check real quick. Geothermal generator... Uh, oh. Oh, it should fit already. Not enough steel uh, stored to build it, though. That's kind of a shame. I was hoping we'd find a little more steel during all this mining. Uh, but, okay, cool. We know now there's enough room, so I can deconstruct this. And I'm also going to get rid of all of these power conduits here. I'll leave one there going through that wall. So that should get us maybe some materials back, which would be kind of cool. Maybe I'm just not being uh, smart about how much I'm I'm using here. But cool. So DeWind is good at mining. That's awesome. That's going to help us out with uh Vortec being out of commission right now. They're they're making their way on or making some progress on that. So cool. I mean, that's really all we can hope for with this hidden structure in here. Not much I can do about that. Oh, good. They're getting the wind turbine up and running again. Maybe we can store some power so they don't have to sleep in the dark. The little colonists love their night lights. Yes. Sweet. Good, good, good. I have not been very smart with my steel consumption. Okay. So what are we going to do about that, guys? We have... Oh. Well, we have a whole bunch right here. Why don't we start mining this away? Vortex on it. It's like, oh, mining. I'm on it. Let's get all that. All of it. Everyone's helping out. We have a nice little steel supply here. I'm thinking this whole thing is going to yield some steel. Look at that. Yes. Just take it out. Wow, they're kicking ass. Just mine it all away. Screw it. Perfect. Oh, we have more than enough. I'm going to be sad once that's all gone. Because I don't know if we can. we're going to get that lucky again. Amazing. Uh, roof has collapsed because it was too far from any support. Uh-oh. Where was that? Jump to location. Oh. Well, obviously a roof is collapsed. <laughs> Idiots. Alright, neat. No one, no one died. I was kind of worried about that happening. No research project for Switch, so there's nothing Switch is going to do but mine. Uh, which doctor's town passing through? Cool, cool, cool. I was able to place down the geothermal generator since we do have a whole bunch of steel at our disposal and Vortec is on it. Once this is built, we have power from two geothermal generators coming into our base. And now I guess the only other thing I can really do is get rid of the mining order on this room here. Because that's just, that's just, is what it is. I don't know what else to do. I'm going to go into orders and cancel all the mining there. And our base is basically uh, completed, though. So that's neat. Now I'm going to take give them the order to haul things. They need to get rid of all of these rocks. 
And it looks like the, the smoothing order I gave them before is done. And all this debris is still there. So putting down floors didn't get rid of it. I don't know how to make them sweep up to make things look nice. I just, I know that... Oh, there's steel sitting in that wall. Well, at least we know where to get some now. Yes, geothermal's going up. That's awesome. Cool. Nice. Okay, we are flush with energy. I'm got I'm about to start moving these guys in. I'm I'm not going to wait much longer. Once they start hauling some of these rocks away, I still would really love it if I could figure out how to get rid of all these little little chunks here, all this debris. So it looks like a pretty serious thunderstorm has hit. I mean, there is lightning and rain and everything everywhere. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned. I, I'm glad that there is rain. It wasn't okay. Well, it's gone already. It was. It was not a dry thunderstorm, uh, which is like the worst kind, because then there's lightning and nothing to wash away fire. And I just noticed outside temperature is 30 degrees, which probably means the indoor temperature is 37. They're about to freeze to death. I'm glad I stopped things to notice this. Uh, cramped environment. How, how are you guys doing on like? Everything else. Eight nutrient paste. Slept in cold, and they're cold. I knew it. All right. Oh, this is a problem. I was not. Ho I was not uh, looking forward to dealing with heating problems so early into winter. I mean, it's fall. I know it's going to be a little bit colder, but this is like unprecedented. Uh, yikes. So we have some issues with temperature. Why don't we go into where the hell? Oh, temperature. Duh. Let's just get heaters. Uh, if we do... I mean... Oh, they're going to cost 100 steel each. That sucks. You know what? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's do this. Let's put a heater in this room here because... It's going to be powered... Oh, wow. It's going to be powered off of that outside. That's cool. Put a heater here. We can heat, we can heat up... It says this whole thing, but I'm sure... Really, it's just going to heat up this room really nicely. Uh, they're going to be working indoors a lot, like in here. So I think having the heat coming all up in here is going to be ideal with all the work they're going to be doing. And I'm just going to move them in, like right away. Now, again, we do have the problem of no space right here, as we anticipated we would have. So I think what I'm going to do about that is set up, I guess, another hallway going up here. Let's go into mining orders again. I'll keep this simple. Let's just mine into here and put down... I want the rooms to be the same size, so how far in did we go? I think like that. Oops, no, that's not centered, so that's... I. This is why I usually cut this part out, because there's like OCD central. Try again. Come in like this and go back five, right? Five. And we'll put in another one like that. That'll work. Cool. Hopefully the structure is not that big. Otherwise I'm going to be very, very, very pissed off. Now it is below freezing outside and our colonists are making uh, no... <laughs> they're not prioritizing building this heater. I'm going to get a constructor to do that immediately because this is stupid. What are you guys doing? Work on the heater, you idiots. Let's keep mining. <laughs> wow, it's so cold. They're dumb. Vortec, go work on the heater, man. Oh, this guy. This guy thinks he's, uh... What? Prayer is working on heater. I guess this is... You can clean up the rubble. That's what that is. So we can prioritize getting rid of that. They need heat now. Like, okay, it's getting warmer outside, which is good, but... What? They're attacking immediately. We have some uh, tribes people kicked up some epic music. We got four tribes people coming to attack in the midst of my heating dilemma. Ooh, goodness. All right. That's a shame. So what we can do about that is start drafting some people. Weem has a pistol. I'm going to put Weem uh, behind the turret there to draw their fire towards the turret, get them maybe close to that. Uh, who else does what here? Rifle, Vortec has a knife, and DeWind has the M24. So, alright, we will definitely draft DeWind, 
and have him uh, probably, I'd say come down here. And we'll let the other two work. So let's get them there. Come on, DeWind. And there we go. The battle has begun. So that's one down, one tribes person down. We got this guy over here. He's uh, he's being a little more strategic about it. And we got what what's shooting at him? More importantly, what's he shooting at? They're not shooting at anything. All right, we're gonna have to wind uh, take out this guy because he has. Hey, to wind. Oh, don't melee attack. Don't melee attack. Let's have him come out to here. There we go. That M24 just takes him out in one shot. It's kind of a slow shot, but bam. <laughs> All right, to wind. One more. I think Weem's doing okay. They're oh, they're fleeing. We didn't let them. Perfect. Well, one got away, but that's all right. Cool. <laughs> we win. Let's kick up. Uh, let's pick up all of their crap. He is. Let's see. We need. We need to undraft our guys here. And pause real quick. We're gonna strip. Weem, I'm going you to or the wind. I want you to strip this one. There we go. And then we need to win to strip this guy as well. No, to win. Come back. Strip this dude. And once they do that, I will uh, unrestrict all of these guys and we'll get their bodies taken care of. So I finally managed to get Vortac to finish the heater, uh, which is good because that'll raise the indoor temp uh, quite a bit. I'm going to let it, re uh, let's see, reset and then bring it up to. Let's see, 74 degrees is a nice cozy temperature. I'm hoping it kind of reaches back here, uh, but it looks like, I don't know, the indoor temp is slowly going up. All right, cool. We just need them working out of here, I guess, as much as possible. Uh, another room we got to create next is the hydroponics, like farming, indoor farming area, and get them kind of starting to farm indoors a little bit more. Uh, all of their work they're doing outside, though, warrants another thing to help heat them up. I'm going to put some campfires around. Uh, I'm not sure what the range is on the campfires in terms of heating, but I know this will make them a little more comfortable working on farms outside, at least until the farms all die because it's winter. So that'll do that. I'm going to put a campfire probably here as well between these two rooms and maybe one right here. That'll get some like heated areas for them to pass through. Other than that, I do not feel like wasting the time heating up. Uh, why does Vortec have this tribal warrior cloth just sitting in his room? That's creepy. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel like wasting the materials heating up these little rooms that I'm about to move them out of. So that's that. Uh, we got wood floors going in, and we're almost done mining that out. Once that happens, I think we're going to move them into these rooms. So I know we are. We got to get the floors in too. Ugh. It's just all about priorities, really. I've been working on some plans for our colonists uh, in the new area they're about to be living in. We got some beds built. I set up some heaters and some doors. They still need to work on hauling out all this crap, but I'm not going to let that stop me from getting them uh, what they need. I've also put up a stone cutter's table there because we have a whole bunch of stone and I feel like we, we can take it and use it for things like floors and stuff like that. Uh, so that is kind of the plan. Uh, th this rubble, I I'm going to just leave for last once my colonists are super bored. I'll have them work on cleaning that up a little bit. Maybe they'll do it on their own. I don't really know. Uh, but other than that, this area that's holding all their stone is full. Uh, so I'm going to need to expand on the dumping uh, zone here. Let's go into our zoning. Dumping stockpile. I think if I pull it out in all these different directions. There we go. Now they have a bigger place to dump all of their stone and they're going to need it. The only downside is because the dumping stockpile is so far away. If they do want to do stone cutting up here, they're going to need to drag stone from down there to the stone cutting table. Kind of annoying, 
But for now, no one's really complaining too much about being uh, too cold, even though the temperature outside is like 18 degrees and they are likely to freeze out there. Uh, but one thing I did notice is we've managed to take a few parkas off of some enemies we've had. Uh, I'm going to go into Weem's gear here. He has uh, all of uh, just a t-shirt and some pants. I think that's basically what they're all wearing. Oh, this uh, Squish just has a jacket. Uh, I'm going to have Squish wear the cloth pants. I'm going to have Weem throw on a cloth parka. I'm going to have Vortec throw on a... Uh, ooh, he's not wearing much either. Let's have him throw on a cloth parka. And DeWind has a jacket. Uh, let's look at the stats on the jacket. Can we do that? Let's see here. Uh, no, we cannot. Well, I'm guessing a parka is more cozy than a jacket, so you'll throw on that. And I'm going to give Weem this little uh, this hat. A little cowboy hat. <laughs> Because why the hell not? Uh, oh, he prioritized wearing that instead of the parka. Let's let's fix that here. Weem, put on the parka. There we go. So because I'm not really being good about keeping them very warm, I've decided to just make sure they're wearing something at very least. Uh, that way they won't, uh, you know, die. <laughs> Uh, the, the rooms are finally completed with doors on them, and that means it's time to start taking some beds and setting them as our colonists, like, you know, setting them as owners of their beds. I'm going to have Vortec the Miner in this bed. I'm going to have uh, Ween because favoritism in this bed. Uh, I Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Squitch in this bed. You know why? Because these two people work in here the most, and so they deserve... The, uh, the new beds first, because they're busting their asses for us. And up here will be more colonist rooms, so that's cool. Uh, now, they need to get these heaters completed, so at least they'll be sleeping in warmth. But I've just realized I don't have any conduits running through here. Uh, that is the next big goal I have on my list. So I'm going to go into this. I'm going to take some conduits and put them there. And we're just going to drag up conduits going... Basically throughout the whole place, I guess. We have to get them down here. Uh, just conduits everywhere, really. I, I don't I don't know. I don't like that we have to do it that way, but it's got to be done. So we're going to bring them up like that, and that should take care of powering up all the rooms. Obviously, this medical room might need a little bit more, but maybe not. If I just put all the beds back here and the heater in the corner, maybe a lamp in that corner, should be good. And that is the next thing I have to make sure too. But I'm giving them way too many orders. I gotta kind of chill out with that because it's gonna take them forever to do anything uh, based on their priorities and things that need to get done. <laughs> that hat for Weem is perfect. He gets to sit out there and farm all day long in his little cowboy hat. That's that's awesome. Cool. So I mean, things are going well for us. I think uh, I think I'm not too worried. Lots of trade ships passing by, bulk goods traders. Uh, I, I need to keep on this stuff, but for now, I'm my biggest concern is just getting them uh, inside this mountain. Large piece of ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI persona with psychic projection ability. This AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. Oh my god. Psychic drone level low. I've never seen this in this game. I've never seen this in a video. I am kind of concerned as to what to do. Apparently the AI is not friendly. Uh, we need to research machining and that way we can dismantle things uh, that come, come at us like this. That's going to be my next project apparently. And it says we need to destroy it. So unfortunately we're going to have to pull our colonists away once again to go on some kind of stupid mission uh <laughs> dang it all right dewind i'm gonna draft you i'm going to draft weem oh i need to click weem little cowboy hat weem there and i guess i'm not vortec but i will draft squitch uh, i'm gonna have squitch come here i'm gonna have weem Come here and the wind come here. All right, we got a little our little army. I'm gonna send these guys command and conquer style over to this. I should say something else, not command and conquer, but <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I don't even know if do you guys know what Command and Conquer is? It's a it's an RTS game like Warcraft or Starcraft. It's the first one I ever played. All right. Uh, what can we do with this? Fire at. Squitch. Weem. Oh my God. Cannot hit target. Okay, you guys. Holy crap. Can it fire back? <gasps> no! Run! <laughs> oh my god! Get him. No, we need to slow down time here. Oh god! Okay. Try again. How much health does he have? He's injured. Heavy charge blaster. Do I get to keep that? Oh god! No! Switch! Oh no! Okay, let's get him out here a little bit. Come on, DeWind! No, 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 no! Come on, Dwind! Shoot! Oh, Ween, watch out! It looks like he shoots some bursts. Uh, this is insane! No, 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 no! Oh, we lost to Wind! How? Heavy charge blaster, blaster injured. I need to look at this per this one's health. Weem, hide. No, Weem! Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it! I don't know what to do. Igniting wooden door. That's your mission? That's what your goal is right now? Oh, the wind is dead. That sucks. Okay. Uh, Vortac. Is sleeping like a baby. Okay. I think maybe once this thing makes its way up to the... Uh... Thanks, visitors from Witch Doctor's Town, you stupid assholes. Once this thing makes its way up to whatever wooden door it wants to destroy, I'm assuming one of these, the turret should try to take him out a bit. What I keep meaning to check is his health. Uh, fourth body ring has gunshot wounds. Uh, communication enhanced. Oh, God. All right, uh, we need Vortac to rescue his colleagues here. I'm gonna draft him and have him come out here. We're gonna go around the uh, the AI monster thing, and I'm hoping maybe Vortac can save his, his colonists. Uh, oh boy, these guys are gonna get smoked. So Vortac's gonna come down here. Guys, shoot at him! Look at him fleeing. What are you guys doing? Is this thing fleeing? Oh, they're shooting at it. Maybe they'll take it out for me. They might be my saving grace right now. Vortac, come over here. Stay far away from this thing. I hope these visitors come and take this guy out. Oh my gosh! Come on! Alright, Vortac, you're gonna come down here. Uh, I think we're just gonna have Vortec rescue. Who's, uh, Weem and Squitch are both on the verge of breakdown. Uh, let's have Vortec rescue, uh, Squitch the scientist. Uh, one of those guys died. This thing is powerful as hell. Come on, you guys can do it. Ooh, that guy's a nice gun. Holy crap. All right, Vortec is taking Squitch back. Hopefully, he can just, like, mosey past this guy and not get killed. <sighs> he is drafted. Oh, no. Don't aim at Vortec. <gasps> yes, they got him down. Finish the job. Oh, my gosh. Finish the job. They're not going to do it. They're just going to let him sit there in shock. His hearing is okay. Everything else is pretty bad. Uh... 
Well, Vortac, this gives him room to save Squitch. I sure hope Weem doesn't die. That's... My main concern is Weem being in shock here. Not biting the bullet because he's been sitting there for so long. Uh, it's not a good trader. I don't have time for your trade chips. Oh, good. Muffalo that I can't capture or do anything about. Uh, with Vortec rescuing uh, Squitch here, I'm going to need another medical bed because Weem is uh, very, very bad. I'm going to set this to medical. And that way, when Vortec goes to rescue him, I'm guessing he's the one starting. No, Weem's starving. Okay, Vortec, I need you just to hold out a little bit longer and rescue our friend Weem. I'm going to speed up time here. And uh, that was quite the eventful uh, event. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the monster in shock there. Vortec is not strong enough. Uh, Squitch is incapable of, of walking. That sucks. This is not good. Let's hope that by the next episode, our colonists survive. Thank you guys so much for watching this action-packed uh, episode of RimWorld. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, you can leave any suggestions you might have for my current situation. I may or may not record more before I get to read those suggestions, but we'll have to see. So there you go. I'll see you guys next time. I'm excited to see what happens next now with the new delivery driver. So uh, what happened? It just went away. Maybe the driver just took it before it finished cooking. I should fire him. Uh, let's look at our low inventory. Uh, what are we low on?